sorry, but this fight is over. Hey, wait! Why? We've achieved our goal. Your job was to stop us, and you failed. <clears throat> Another time, perhaps. Yeah. Oh, but I like your spirit. Though I expected no less from my partner in destiny. I'm sorry, what? Yes, I suppose that was a bit sudden. I should remember, take intimacy in smaller steps. The three times you leapt off a cliff to quote-unquote get tougher saved you. Those five mad attempts to dispatch a horde of monsters by yourself saved you. And tonight, despite my repeated warnings, you took the wrong path and ended up having to sleep on a bed of leaves in the middle of the woods. Stop plowing ahead, Claude. You're going to get us lost. Lost, schmost. Is it Claude time? I think it's Claude time. Yeah, it's usually standard practice to dodge the guy who's trying to kill you. Say you saved my bacon, but that would be utterly hammy. Alois, uh, has anyone ever told you that you're... Don't. Some truths are simply too painful to bear. Good. Prepare yourself. Of course, prof Oh, he's gone. So be it. We'll follow the blood scent. Right, of course. We'll follow... Wait, what? We're leaving. Everyone, follow me! Professor Yuritsa, where are you going? They defeated a demonic beast? Impossible! Talus isn't going to like this at all. You'll pay for this. For as you know, all swell that ends swell. In what cruel world would our noble house take the reins of a boar like you? Don't ask me, it's his pretext. Every night since I killed my brother, I dream a lion is ripping out my throat. Go get him, your majesty! You're helping too, Sylvain! Stand down! Stand down! Your Highness, we are moving Rufus to a cell and preparing him for questioning. Good. Does it trouble you to slay your own kin? What a surprise. I did not think you capable of sympathy, craven monster that you are. Yes. But either way, I do what I must. Well, to perish by your hand. It is a fate that I much deserve. Pardon my lateness, Your Majesty. You needn't worry, Felix. Don't worry. It'll start feeling very real, very quick, once the sword starts swinging. You know, that might be the single worst attempt at motivational speaking I've ever heard. Not that I'm much surprised at this point. Oh, and speak of the devil. Am I interrupting something? Uh, I have to train with his majesty today? Can't I just pretend I did and take a nap instead? <sighs> Come now, I won't hurt you. Much. Counting on you, Felix! Not your day, huh? Guess the pressure's on now. Too easy! Oh, Felix, I've been thinking. Actually, never mind. What? You can't say that and then not tell me. Come on, out with it. Uh, okay, it's just, even though you never show it, I can tell you really care about Dimitri and the others. <coughs> I see. Now, these weapon repairs will take time. Allow me to aid you. You sure you don't mean keep an eye on me? 
Glad to have your help, though, to do. Yeah, in your dreams. Don't make me tell Ingrid about this. Whoa, now. You don't need to do that. Have a heart. Come on. Let's see that sword of yours a little more. Dead by my hand. Yes, they look quite dead indeed. Just you watch. We'll take them all down and have the bards singing our names by nightfall. So here we are, ready to deal a master stroke to the heart of the mighty empire. Life with you certainly isn't boring. With me, Hubert. For the empire! He escaped. Cowardly of him. But we can take comfort in our victory either way. <laughs> I guess. Uh. Now what? Huh? Are you kidding me? When mercs want to celebrate a win, we slap our open palms together, like that. So, um, what about my father? Did you arrest him? Unfortunately not. Oh, okay. Be certain to save some of your hopes for me, because I most assuredly have what it takes to succeed. And with that, new Empire Army, move out! Ferdinand, kindly leave the commanding and naming to me. Trust me, it's not as interesting as it sounds. Who says it has to be? Interesting or not, I'll have you tell me one of these days. If you say so. Just promise not to freak out when you realize how boring I am, okay? Do I seem like the type of person to freak out about such a thing? <sighs> Perhaps don't answer that. No. Did you really? Oh, you did. This is my absolute favorite. Thank you. This surprise pleases me. How did you know I would have enjoyment of this? Try and stop me! Go, Ferdinand! <laughs> Thought you would never ask! In Bridget, everyone is a hunter. Everyone is a fisher. Everyone is a warrior. There is no need to be hiring. Or to be hired. That sounds incredible. In a place like that, nobody'd have to risk their life just to get a bite to eat. Your words give me great happiness. I will always be full of pride for Bridget. I am aghast! Are you suggesting that devoting myself fully to every endeavor is wasteful? I mean, yeah. I love how you can bump into someone in the woods one night and suddenly you're living under the same roof the next. I knew we had a thing. Oh, he's gone. Yeah, so that whole Yuritsa up and vanishing thing? Best to just get used to it. But wait, what if the dining hall lady is a traitor too? I'll never be able to ask for seconds again! <laughs> As if anything would stop you from asking for seconds. Besides, what kind of villain sets their sights on someone's lunch? I think we can give the poor dining hall lady the benefit of the doubt, right? For now, we should assume everyone could be an enemy. There's no telling where their spies might be lurking. Well, unless you're proposing we stop eating altogether, we best muster a little faith. I'd really like to stop talking about the dining hall lady now, please. Thank you for traveling all the way to Fodland's Locket. I'm Holst Sigisvald Goneril, in command of defense here. Claude Von Regan. I've heard a lot about you over the years. Well, it isn't Nadir the Unstoppable. Are you ready to settle the score? For the last time, it's Nadir the Undefeated, and I know you're doing that on purpose. Lawrence, I need you. You may handle the rest, Claude. Yeah, sure. Can you be more specific? Bring me all you want. I thought I'd recognize you. You look just like my horror of a little brother. Then for your brother's sake and my own, it's time to put you in your place. I would make my escape if I were you. You're not gonna like what comes next. You swine. Turn that loathsome face from my sight. 
In every way, you remind me of my wretch of a brother! I will be the end of you one day! I promise you that! Ooh, I'm so stuffed I can barely move. That Holst sure knows how to throw a party. That's for sure. The nobles would treat us to a meal every now and then back when I was a merc. But it was never anything like this. Thanks for arranging it, uh, Lord Future Leader. Come on, don't call me that. We're just classmates. Actually, you know what? I take that back. We can do better than classmates. You can do it, Marianne. I'm rooting for you. Um, are you not going to train at all, Hilda? You know, at first I thought you were just coming to complain, but you were actually trying to be nice. Me? Nice? To you? <laughs> oh my, you are funny. And then you can give them their just desserts or die trying. Could have done without that last part. Thanks. I've got nothing to worry about with the two of you on the job. I could not possibly entrust you with work such as this, Claude. I shall take care of everything. You don't think I can handle it, do you? But I guess this really is more your thing. Just hit them with the old ba-bam, you know? That's the way. Ba-bam. Right. Think you could elaborate on that a little? 